cracking guys my name is texter and welcome to the final video in this series where we're looking at the linked build of windows 11. so we've covered the installation covered the setup experience so now the only thing we've got left to do is cover the actual features of windows 11 in this build now we've got to remember it is an early build so we're not going to know every feature of windows 11 but we're going to take a quick look at what's changed compared to windows 10. so um, as you might have just seen, new boot logo. Um, so I'm doing a cold boot here in this virtual machine, um, which again, uh, takes a while performance. I'm just gonna pass it off as it being a bit weird um, because it's a virtual machine. So, um, get to the log on screen uh, when it eventually loads. Uh, and the lock on screen has a new default wallpaper. Um, all of the wallpapers have changed as they would most likely do when an operating system gets an upgrade. You can see we have this nice vivid blue abstract thing. Um, so we try and log in. Login screen itself has not changed at all really from uh, a Windows 10 login screen. Um, but what has changed is the desktop. Now. Um, the first time I did this, the um, the OS, when it tried to load the desktop, it was very, very, very buggy. And you'll see it here as it's uh, just loading now. This is in real time uh, as it's trying to load it up. Uh, you can see my icons have still not appeared on, on the taskbar. The taskbar then just vanishes. I've not cropped this. This is literally what the build did. It literally just vanished. Um, and then you had to hover over the taskbar, which was technically still there. It was just hidden and not displaying properly. A bit of a graphical bug. But hey, I, I don't know if anyone else has experienced that, but uh, yeah, early build. Hey, -o. Um, so once you're on the desktop, uh, this is what you're presented with got the new start menu here so this is reminiscent of the windows 10 x build that we had last year and they've basically just brought that ui over into um the mainstream windows land um so you can see at the bottom left hand corner you've got your user icon you get into your user settings bottom, uh, bottom right uh you've got your power button uh, you can access all your apps at the top right and you've got um, your commonly used apps that are put forward on the forefront. Um, so let's just try uh, opening a couple of apps while we're here. Um, as you can see, there's a, a long list of apps. Pretty much all of them here are UWP based apps now. Um, so it's the Universal Windows platform. Um, we're not really seeing any old school apps bar maybe file explorer that is probably still going to be a traditional windows application um from what you're seeing so we're, we're just going to open alarms and clocks um which great needs an update typical windows um <laughs> which is brilliant so we'll open up calculator as well i'm sure you don't need to update calculator um yeah visually the windows again the pretty much the same as how they're looking like in in windows 10 the the icons um i think they've, they've been updated quite a bit now um so we're not really getting any old school icons anymore you can see when i open up file explorer um that pretty much every icon has changed everything from the ones that you get in the in the top bar there um to uh, just the folder icons drive icons uh, pretty much every icon has, has been changed throughout uh, throughout the system uh, the more rounded uh somewhat a little bit more colorful but not too in your face um and yeah i mean okay it's a little bit slow to open up some of the uh, some of the folders here but again i'm not really going to count performance in this build it's not what we're looking for um we're looking at the features uh, of the build um opening up task manager um you can see that there's a fair few amounts of stuff going on again uh, this is just from a cold boot i've literally just installed it shut down the virtual machine try to bring it back up um, and yeah, it's updating things. Uh, we've got some processes there for, for Windows and updates and it updating apps. Um, 
Let's back on to the main taskbar. So we've got the search icon. So this is a global search, uh, similar to how Spotlight works uh, on Mac OS, um, which is quite nifty. Um, we've got a widgets icon. Again, you need uh, a Microsoft account to use that, uh, as I mentioned in the previous video. Um, we do have a split screen uh, button as well, which I think I just skipped over there. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can see even some of the, the, the uh, tray icons on the right hand side of the taskbar, they've been ever so slightly rounded. And you'll get that um, when you're using Windows 11. You, you can see that everything's got this rounded aspect. Tiles, a bit more rounded. Icons, they're a bit more rounded. Everything's just a little bit more softer compared to Windows 10, where everything was a bit kind of just straight and non-rounded. I think that's probably the, the easiest way I can say it. Um, so if we open up the uh, settings menu, uh, just to see what's going on. Again, we've got more of those rounded icons. The, the look out of the settings is still the same. Um, nothing really has changed here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just your bog standard settings that you would have got in uh, in Windows 10. Um, one thing that we do need to point out is uh, when I go over to the build, you will see it say Windows 11 Pro rather than Windows 10 Pro. And you'll also see the build number as well, which is 21299, I believe. Um, but yeah, other than that, the settings still look and feel the same. Um, again, icons still rounded, um, but yeah, nothing crazy going on here. Um, there's a bit more of a push towards settings as your go-to place rather than the control panel. The control panel is still included in this build. Uh, I would assume that they envision it going away at some point, but... It always said that with Windows 10 and it's still there, so who knows, who knows. Um, as you can see, those are, that's the build page. You can see it says Windows 11 Pro. Uh, it was installed on the 17th. Um, one thing to note, though, is when you do a Windows update, you can see it's saying Windows 10 version next for updates that are being applied to the operating system rather than Windows 11. I'm sure that will be updated closer to when Windows 11 gets its final release date. Um, yeah, there's activation, which uh, you still need a product key. Uh, I, I have no idea what they're gonna do with that. Um, maybe on the 24th when the event is, they'll go, look, you can upgrade for free and we're doing away with activation, but uh, since it's largely just building on top of Windows 10, then we should just still include the activation in it. But, uh, hey, oh, what do you do? Um, so if we click uh, and open up the Action Center, you can see, again, everything a bit more rounded. There's a lot more space now. Down on the bottom, when you click in uh, your settings tiles, they're, uh, they're just not, you're not getting bombarded with them. There are only just a few select ones, but you are still able to edit and add more to them if you like. Um, and other than that, those are the main grab out features and grab out visual aspects of Windows 11 that are really going to um, come to the forefront at this moment in time. Now, obviously, there is an event on the 24th of June where I'm hoping Microsoft will may have a later build um, that they're going to showcase. Um, they'll probably show off extra features, probably some of the more lower level features. Me personally, I'm hoping that there's some Xbox features that are going to get ported over into the mainstream Windows OS, but we'll have to check that out on the 24th. So that's been a quick tour of Windows 11. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.